Hi guys, here's Paola, the crazy ozone lady, and today I will be answering a question, and I've been asked this question a number of times over the years, or a variation of that question, and it goes something like this. So, Paola, I've been doing ozone therapy for a while now, and I still got sick with the flu, or I got a cold, or some other infection, and how is this possible? I thought that ozone was supposed to kill everything and every virus, every bug. So how come it didn't work in my case? And so I don't know exactly what happened in your particular case, but I may give some general suggestions and some general ideas that may be helpful. So one factor that may have played a role in you getting sick, although you were doing ozone therapy, is diet. So diet can, as I have mentioned this in the past, can, in my opinion, can make or break the success of ozone therapy and especially foods like sugar and gluten containing grains. Those are very inflammatory and they can lower our immune system to the point that ozone therapy may not be enough to counteract that damage. Um, so this is one possibility. And also one thing to consider is that many people think that they have a pretty good diet, that they actually don't eat a lot of sugar or grains, but really they do, and they may even do so every day, but just not be aware of it or not be aware that this may play a big role. So this is one factor. Another is what is possible that although you were doing ozone therapy for long enough of a time, uh, it's possible that you weren't doing it intensely enough. So I think it's a huge difference whether, let's say, uh, you've done ozone therapy for, uh, for four weeks, and but you've done only four treatments in those four weeks, or if you have received daily ozone treatment in those four weeks. Because the more you do them, the more intensely, uh, the more effective they are. This is, uh, this is my opinion. And this is also something that Dr. Robbins mentions in one of his uh, recent interviews with Michael Lowe. So I think so. The, the the frequency and then the intensity of the ozone treatments may play a role. Another factor that may have contributed to the problem is that ozone therapy can uh, trigger Herxheimer reactions. And when we go through a herx, then our immune system is down. It's uh, our defenses are vulnerable. So it's possible that that's when you caught the infection. And then once you have the infection, then it's difficult to figure out, okay, which part is the herx and which part is the infection. So this may be another thing to consider. Uh, but in general, it's difficult to know what was really going on because I wasn't there. I don't know what other toxicities may be present in you, what other, uh, what, what, what other things uh, you have, what other conditions you're suffering from, uh, what environmental factors uh, you're exposed to. Um, so, so it's really tricky to answer those types of questions. But uh, what's maybe also going on that you were doing something else and you... Uh, you weren't aware that this could actually have a negative uh, effect on on the outcome of ozone therapy, or it may be that this other therapy that you were doing actually triggered something that you maybe misinterpreted as uh, as an infection, or maybe that's what lowered your immune system. So uh, especially, um, so I I have one example that comes uh, into my mind. Um, I was contacted once by a mother and a son, and they were doing ozone treatments with a very famous ozone doctor, and they were getting progressively worse during that treatment. So uh, they were getting more fatigued, they had less energy, to the point that they actually could not bring themselves to make the trip to the doctor's office to finish that therapy. And uh, this sounded really strange to me, I couldn't make much sense of it. But then the woman said, oh, wait a minute, I forgot to mention that at some point we actually started doing chelation, intravenous chelation treatments on the suggestion of the doctor. And then I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. 
because chelation IVs, of course, have a very high rate of adverse effects and they can be pretty devastating. So what this woman was going through had actually nothing to do with ozone therapy, but everything with the intravenous chelation. So, so this may be a similar situa situation that was going through. I don't know. So this would require a very much more in-depth conversation where we could um, basically exclude every other possibility, every other factor. But I think the important thing is that to think about what you're going to do once you are sick, once you have the infection or the cold. And there, the important thing is to not overthink it, not go into, into that mindset, oh, how come ozone didn't work with, uh, with me? I guess ozone isn't that great. Why would I keep doing this if it didn't even prevent me from getting sick? No, stop. You just need to keep doing the ozone. So it doesn't matter why you got sick. Don't overanalyze it. Don't overthink it. Just keep doing the ozone and it will work. It will help you. It will get rid of that infection. Now, of course, there's no guarantee. There's no 100%. There's always the odd case out that where ozone somehow doesn't work, but it's very, very rare. And the possibility that the probability that ozone will work if you just keep doing it is very, very high. It's just you need to do it often enough, you need to do it frequently enough, you need to do it uh, enough of it uh, at the right concentration. But eventually it will help you. So now to do enough of ozone, that may mean different things for different people in different situations. Uh, so I was, uh, um, I experienced situations where 10 minutes of vaginal insufflations were enough to keep an, uh, a, a starting infection in its tracks. The other time I had to do two or three uh, days full of ozone and I had to do multiple ozone treatments per day to finally kick the infection. So it may be it may be that you will need to do a lot of the ozone, but eventually it will help you. So just keep doing it. So that's the important thing. Now, if that's something that you'd like to talk with me one-on-one, -on -one, then just go to my website at thepowerofozone.com slash book me and you can book me. And this may actually pay off in a big way because I can actually help you save hundreds to thousands of dollars if you're thinking about doing ozone therapy or if you think about buying your own ozone equipment, you should contact me first because that can save you a lot of money. So thank you for listening and see ya.